Hello friends and family and welcome to our October 6th edition of our boring meditation stuff. Yesterday we discussed kanhung actions and kanhung fruition um, consequences, effects. And today we cover the other simple case, oversimplified perhaps. Um, that case is Sukkang, not sukha, um, as in pleasant, but um, double k. Um, and so obviously these two words have something in common. They, at least to my ear, um, almost indistinguishable. <laughs> but um, sukkang is white, pure, good, bright. Um, and this is the other half of the sort of Disney princess um, kind of character spectrum, right? Um, the nature of the individual or the nature of the action here is uncomplicated uh, it is positive or it at least has this positive connotation and similarly the consequences are described as being positive and so um, the sutta goes on to describe these two other categories and the fourth is where people get a bit confused and it's in relation to this category this category of lightness this category of brightness this category of goodness why don't we want to stay here why don't we just want to do nice things and um, it's not that there's anything wrong <laughs> with this category necessarily um, this category is a category of action, of kamma. If you do something, there is a consequence. So if I give money to a homeless person, if I feed a stray dog, if I hug my family members, <laughs> if I... Um, say something kind, if I cook someone a meal, uh, if I do the dishes. These are all positive actions and they shouldn't be seen as um, something that we're trying to avoid. I, I close all of these videos with this idea that you should be taking care of yourself, which is positive action, and taking care of the people around you, which is also a positive action. But these are still actions and meditation is not about um, inculcating things it's not about creating things and it's not about acting um, and so this is where some of the confusion lies and why it's easier rather than thinking about the consequences where are we going? What are we doing in the outside world? It's easier to think about the origin. Mental processes, mental volition. If we stick to that, if we stick to our sandbox, if we stick to our, you know, clean room, mental clean room, <laughs> um, we're better able to understand what this sutta is trying to say. And we don't kind of muddy it for ourselves. Um, with that in mind, I hope that everyone is taking good care of themselves and taking good care of those around them. And I will talk to you all tomorrow about how life really works, which is neither of these two categories. <laughs> Goodbye.